My name is Adrian Nanchev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads to help you go out into the world and do something remarkable. Now how is it that entrepreneurs can learn from their mistakes? There's a few different ways. One, when, when, they, when you take a mistake, when a business fails for example, it essentially means that something was wrong fundamentally speaking, in the business. Perhaps it was the finance, or the target audience, or it was the uh, business model. There's something inherently wrong with it. There was something stopping the river from flowing. The river of like profits and money and all the rest, and recognition from flowing. There was something stopping it. And you have to analyse what the hell went wrong, essentially. And that analysis can come from simply looking at the business with the fresher eyes, looking at it and saying, well, this went wrong, that went wrong, and taking a step back, taking a step back and looking at it, Perhaps spending a week away and coming back to the business after it's finished or after your mistake with fresher eyes, relaxed, more energised, so on and so forth and think, hmm, much more critical. Taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture rather than at the individual pieces. Learn more stuff as well. Books, businesses, uh, books, mentors, uh, Udemy, loads of courses, things like that. Learn. Taking more information so you can then analyse what the hell went wrong easier with new ideas because you can then compare your current business or the thing that failed with this new idea and how this new idea would have changed the whole dynamics or changed the whole structure or the ecosystem or profitability, whatever. Just taking and learn new things. Also, endeavour to practice and um, like foster a habit of what's called reflection in action. Reflection in action is essentially saying. As you're going along with new things, as you're talking or building a business or writing a book, you're learning from your mistakes instantly, like oh, mistake here, mistake there, and or taking in new information, and then instantly adapting to it. So you make a mistake in the book or you learn something while you're writing the book, fiction or non-fiction, and then you say, okay, I've learned lesson X, so let, let's try and uh, let's try and interweave that in, into the rest of the uh, in, into the entire book and adjust it and change the strategy dynamically. Not like I've learned a lesson and then I'll apply it in the next book, or I've learned the lesson, I'll apply it, you know, next year or some shit like that. You're applying it now. You you've learned the lesson like dynamically live, and you're applying it here and now. Also, it's worth understanding that I do consulting with small businesses and entrepreneurs. So there's a link in the description below at www.nanchev.com forward slash consulting. And I work with small businesses or entrepreneurs, 50 quid an hour, including an action plan with the option for other future sessions. And I say 50 quid to get the money out of the way here and now so I can focus on the more important stuff, which is you and your business. Uh, which is also why it's important to have mentors as well, because when you can work with other people that have already achieved what you've, that you're trying to achieve, or they're more experienced than you, then they have a unique perspective, unique knowledge that they can bring to the table. That you, you might have a certain angle on something, but they have a different angle, and it, they can tell you something, they can enlighten you essentially with something you may never have come across, never have heard about, and that can change your entire, change your entire strategy. But the bottom line, but the bottom line with learning from failures is you got you unfortunately you got to have them you got to have failures and you got you must learn from them as well because otherwise you're going to repeat the same mistakes again and again and again and again and that's a waste of time that's you know you're going nowhere with that so you always want to learn from your mistakes now the question of the day the question of the day to you is what mistakes are you making what mistakes are you making the mistakes that i'm making you this channel I, I should have st maybe I should have started a new channel rather than using this old one that I, I had before because this channel over the years has accumulated to uh, 423 subscribers and uh, that's really skewing with this new content creation because YouTube is I'm uploading videos and YouTube is sharing that video to the subscribers but they're not watching it they're not consuming it so YouTube then thinks oh, okay these videos are shit or something or or whatever and then just drops the videos and it goes into the you know the the dark corners crevices of the of, of YouTube and no one ever watches the video very rarely so I have to shake off those unwanted subscribers that are holding the channel back and really pushing forward that's the probably the big mistake I've made now because I realize now that the community the cash the profitability and the revenue is in the communities and the following is in the people that know like and trust your business so the bigger that community is the more profitable the business is so 
So that's the big mistake I've made. And I, I'm adapting to that. So I'm adapting to that by starting a, pl a, bo a podcast, live videos, and doing videos every day. So m the question of the day is, what mistakes are you making and how are you adapting? Now also remember that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So go out there today and do something remarkable. But in the meantime, however, click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification right next to it for the latest uploads. How cool is that?